the things we've, we've discovered as we research the issues of sulfide mining and talk with people is that a large, shocking amount of the Minnesota public is unaware. Either unaware that sulfide mining is being proposed or what the risks are or what it even involves. And so we would like to see the public more informed, more aware that this is happening so that they themselves can be part of the decision-making process. In my view, current legislation and regulatory process in Minnesota is not adequate uh, to protect the public uh, from the costs that will inevitably result if sulfide mining proceeds in northern Minnesota. Right now, under Minnesota's mining regulations, um, the DNR commissioner is essentially required to, to permit a mining operation so long as the mine operator agrees to abide by the rules and do the reclamation that's required by the regulations. There is no express authority in the statute today that would allow the DNR commissioner to deny a permit to mine if he concludes that the mining operation will cause significant irreparable harm to the environment. With this history of this mining, with all the problems that it's had been in other states um, and, and all the potential pollution that comes along with it, we just really feel that Minnesotans and, and people who love the Boundary Waters, which are a lot of Minnesotans, um, need to know what's being proposed, know what the risks are, know what the history is, and, and then decide if this is something we want in our state. The long-term implications are not just for the next few years, but for the next million years hundreds of thousands of years at least. There's, no, there's not a half-life to the chemistry of sulfide ore minerals. So, uh, and uh, you know, financial assurances if mining does occur are very, very important. What I would hope uh, would result from people learning about these proposals it is that they will take action by contacting their legislators, by contacting the governor's office, and urging strongly that they support legislation to make sure that the taxpayers of Minnesota are protected and that the Boundary Waters and St. Louis River uh, watersheds are protected from the impacts of, of sulfide ore mining. When the people grab a hold of an issue, uh, then um, they still, the, the, ultimately in a democracy, people still have the power. So when the people lead, the leaders will follow.